have the 0.8 watt OptiCore LED. We're going to do a little product test. This is a walkout basement. We're on the top floor. And I'm going to make sure this thing works after I drop it. Of course, we're not dropping it from the roof. We're only dropping it from the window, but I think this will be a good enough test. All right, so it's in one piece. I don't even see any damage on it. Oh, here we go. There's your point of impact. All right, let's go drop it again. All right, so now let's see if this thing will actually work. This is after dropping it out of the window of the third story in a walkout basement. Hey, what do you know about that? Let's go drop it a second time. See what it takes to break one of these things. Okay, drop test two. Make sure I hit the cement. Whoa! Dad, look at that! I All right, so this is after the second drop. Once again, I'm having a hard time finding any damage. Camera's having a hard time finding what I'm showing you. Let's plug it in. My word. Should we drop it a third time? Okay, drop test number three. Okay, after the third drop, uh, there's a little point of impact there on the bottom. I just the silver part. Let's see what happens. Good grief, what's it going to take to kill this thing? Okay, drop test number four. Once again, this is from the third floor, upper floor of a walkout basement. We're at basically five feet away from the roof. See right there. So if it rolls off the roof, it's only going to fall for much, a little bit higher than where I'm dropping it. So this time, I'm going to throw it up in the air. All right, so after drop test number four, the center positive side seem to have taken the impact, so I'm curious to see if this thing will light up. I'll be surprised if it will. Notice the rest of it. it seems almost spotless. Unbelievable resilience. Alright, we finally ruined it. Good, because it's kids' bedtime. Well, there you go. Four impacts before this thing breaks. All right, so once again, here is the broken bulb. The center finally took enough impact that it can't make contact with positive contact on the socket. As you can see, the plastic part of the bulb looks in really great condition. There's one impact right there at the tip. These are the wintergreenlighting.com C9 LED bulbs are the OptiCores, so they're nice and bright, nice and warm. And these are the faceted bulbs. I picked these up at christmaslightsetc.com. I'm excited to see the house lit with these. I think they're going to look really good. Once again, these are the faceted bulbs. Can't really see where they're lit, but they also have the smooth. I've got red and white. I was also trying out the smooth white bulbs, which I don't like quite as much. So these are all LEDs, and then I went ahead and did a test with these incandescents. You can see they're noticeably brighter from here. The incandescent filament burns a lot hotter, and so you get a nice, really nice, warm, bright glow. But these LEDs, being the OptiCores, aren't too bad. I'll show you from downstairs, you'll see there's not a huge amount of difference from the street. All right, so here we are from the ground level. 
LEDs are on the left of the post, incandescence on the right. You can see those clear bulbs really, really glow. They light up the whole neighborhood and your Excel energy bill. I believe the LEDs are supposed to be 90% cheaper in cost. Energy usage, that is. And of course, they're a little pricey, but once you have them for a couple of years, you get a pretty good ROI at 90% reduction of your energy bill. So they've got the opaque version, that's the smooth ones. And then they have the faceted, like these guys here. So pretty excited to see what these things look for Christmas time. I just hope they're warm enough. One thing I also noticed is they don't have the strobing effect that a lot of LEDs have. As you pan past the house with your eyes, often you'll notice that strobe on the old LEDs. These seem to have a nice warm glow. I, whatever they've done with the OptiCore technology has mitigated that, that uh, strobing flashing effect that I think LEDs used to have that always just drove me crazy. So, hope this video helps. It's been fun putting it together. And you all have a Merry Christmas.